Next story I want to cover. Something I just seen today, right? And again, um, you know, I want to be clear. Oprah Winfrey sat down with her best friend, Gail King, and they had an interview. Now, from my knowledge, this is the first time Gail is speaking out after interviewing Lisa Leslie. If those of you who don't know, who's been living over, living under a rock, uh, a couple weeks ago, she interviewed Lisa Leslie about Kobe Bryant. In the interview questions, it was obviously something was there. Whether she was antagonizing her, whether she was kind of showing how she felt about Kobe, and she was kind of putting that through her words as she asked Lisa Leslie different questions. But whoever seen that interview, it was no doubt some fuck shit, right? So she interviewed with Oprah Winfrey, and again, this article I'm reading only shows a piece of what they spoke about. Maybe later on in the interview, she apologized, but the quotes I see here, she didn't even apologize, family. She basically said, look, um, uh, uh, I think we can, and this is Gail is quoted as saying, I think we can disagree politically, we can disagree socially, if you want to, but I just think humanity should prevail always. I think we should have a, I think we should figure out a way to navigate with each other that we can disagree and you could be mad at it even, but you can't speak to me that way that I, that I was spoken to and threatened. Okay, so she's standing on her shit about. Snoop Dogg shouldn't have spoke to her that way. Um, um, she shouldn't have got some of the backlash that she received. The fucked up part to me is, and again, the full interview can be released because they did an interview on Oprah's uh, 2020 Your Life in Focus tour to discuss the backlash that she received from that interview. And again, she could possibly, in the further parts of the interview, she could have apologized, family, I don't know. But in this article, that shit wasn't highlighted. So this is another example to me of some black entertainers being at such a level that they think they don't even need to be reprimanded, right? Because this man is dead. You didn't, you didn't, what about uh, Vanessa and her family? What about Kobe's parents? What about everybody else that's been that's been drastically affected by this. I mean, let's keep it real. Like I said before, family, this is the biggest sports tragedy ever. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. You can go down to history and look at different sports figures who have died throughout history. Name one athlete at this level that's died in this way. It's never happened, family. So you a 60 year old woman, you don't know how sensitive this is? Bullshit. I think Gail was trying to get ratings. She's at this white company, I, I'm thinking she's trying to get ratings. The same way when she interviewed R. Kelly, that shit was antagonistic. You see what I'm saying? But yet still, no Harvey Weinstein interview, right? Right? No Roman Polanski interview, right? So, at the end of the day, she was wrong. And for her not to come, because Snoop apologized, which, for the record, he shouldn't have... He shouldn't have. He came out, the first video he did was done, boom. He came out with a second video that explained why he approached it that way. I think he should have left it there because she didn't apologize. She, she, she stood on her shit. Everybody knows Snoop wasn't threatening her. Everybody know that this, this is a 50 year old ex crip. You think he finna get somebody to go fuck up Gail, go fuck up a 60 year old woman? He was raised better than that. He didn't have to begin, he didn't have to start copping please like that. He even went on Red Table Talk and explained more and, and kinda, I'm not gonna say back down, but he kinda copped a, copped a couple more please. You feel me? Gail ain't doing that shit, so fuck that. And, uh, and again, I'm not, I don't like black people fighting in public. I think there's a time and a place for everything. But if you do something publicly, at times you should be reprimanded publicly. So the outlash, the backlash that Gail received for this incident was righteous. And the fact that I don't see her, um, you know, and the fact that I don't see her um, apologizing for it makes it even worse. Again, maybe in this full interview she'll apologize, but I didn't. I definitely didn't see it here. So I stand with my brother Snoop, even though he back, even though he backpedaled a little bit. I stand with him coming at her with the aggression he did because at the time he was hurt. At the time he's thinking about his actual friend. Not to mention that when things like this happen, we have to look at. 
um, we have to look at everything that's going on in the situation, right? I mean, Snoop, he lost Nipsey, which was close to him. Snoop, he just lost a granddaughter, which I'm sure as a man, um, that, that that's a trying moment. That's a trying moment that you have to deal with, you feel me? So, shout out to the brother Snoop. Um, again, I don't think he should have apologized the way he did, but, you know, I don't know if he... His corporate connections put put him in a situation where he has to just kind of dead the situation. I don't know. He mentioned it was his mom and different family members who called him and kind of put him in his place a little bit. That could be it specifically, but we don't know, right? So, on to the next story.